like this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yes, Next thing that you know, you'll see it. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at Joe and Justin, pick your second right past Mars on the Magic School Bus. Now for Jaden, I'm on the Magic School Bus. Hello, Emerson. Good morning. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Man, it's a beautiful day to draw outside today. So that is what we are doing. Bitsy and I have our notebooks and our drawing utensils and we're going to be drawing toys today. We're going to be drawing some of our friendly little toys and I want to show you the drawings that we already made. <laughs> Here's a picture of the penguin. We started with pencil and then we traced the outline with marker. Draw a light until it's right and then go darker or trace with marker. Here's the troll. Now this one, again, we drew it in pencil first and then added the marker. Later on, I'm gonna add the colors and I can't wait to add the orange and the green for the eyes. Then I started to sketch the baby Shrek. I only got as far as my pencil drawing and I'm still fixing the pencil drawing up. So later today, I'll go over it in pen. I'll get there, I'll get there eventually. And then I sketched out a Ninja Turtle. It's kind of a funny Ninja Turtle because it has troll hair. But yeah, I sketched out the Ninja Turtle and that one's gonna be really fun to color in too. I can't wait. These are all things that you could do at home because practice makes perfect. The more you practice your drawing, the better you get. So right now we're gonna practice on the big pad of paper, because that's a little easier than that little pad. We're gonna practice drawing Gagoons. There's Gagoons back from his big field trip. Yay! To see the birch bark jewelry. It was so awesome. Mariana made those. She sure did. Students, do you remember her from our last episode? Yeah! Alright, move over, guys! Gagoons gets to sit in um, on the main stage. Okay, here we go. We're gonna draw Gagoons, and we're gonna start with his shape. He's an oval. Now, my oval is not gonna be perfect the first time, but I'll fix it up if I need to fix it up. It's a little lopsided, looks like an egg. Okay. All right, well, it's good enough for now. We'll erase this part. We'll fix it. Okay, great. Now the white oval inside of the gray oval. Whoa. And the nose is like a little oval right in here. How cute. And here's the little tiny mouth of our porcupine couple little eyes and a couple little ears uh, it's kind of folded ear up there oh so cute all right now we're gonna add visual texture that's his fur we're gonna add some fur make him look more fuzzy oh wait we need to add hands and feet. Those are tiny little feet and tiny little hands. I'm going to start with the feet. They're just like little rectangles with cur they're kind of curved. Maybe they're ovals. Kind of ovalish rectangles. Rectangular ovals. One of his hands is right here. And 
other hand is kind of tucked in right here. It's kind of cute, actually. Let me see if I can do a tucked in one. There we go. And then keep doing the visual texture, the fur. Oh, yeah. Fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. We got to add some visual texture out here, too. Adorable. When hedgehogs are little, they can roll into a ball and hide. And porcupines are kind of the same way. They roll up. Roll up into a little prickly ball for protection. Lots of texture. It's not real texture. If you felt it, it would just feel like a piece of paper. But all these lines make make it look like it's furry, right? Nice. Nice. Yeah, take some extra time to do some extra fur to make it extra cute. Maybe we should do a little bit of fur in here. The fur under the chin. Oh, so cute. One thing that's so great about a pencil is you can have light gray, dark gray, and black. So this can be black. This nose can be more black. The eyes can be more black. By pressing harder, you get different shades. Right on. And then you can have a lighter gray by using the pencil really lightly, and then a darker gray. Great way to make visual texture. Yes. Oh. Fantastic. Well, I could add some marker. Way to play the bay while you're alone. Adorable. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's so cute. <laughs> oh. So cute. And pretty easy to draw. Not too bad. Oh, adorable. Hmm, I kind of like the texture on here. I think it's almost done, students. If you want to, you can always add color later. I'm going to put his name on there. Gagoons. Baby Porcupine. Bye. Mina. Fantastic. So, Bitsy and I would like to uh, wish you a fantastic week, and um, I just want to show you a picture that we drew of Bitsy. What do you think? Cute! I love you, Emerson. Now, take care of yourself, take care of your family. Be good and do lots of art. Play outside. It's good for you. I'm going to do that right now, honey. Hey, honey. Where are you? Sleepyhead. <laughs> I think she just wants to lay in the sun. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>